Okay, artists, I am going to show you how to create or how to upload your artwork onto Artsonia when you're all finished. So when you're finished, you grab an iPad and you go to the Artsonia app, which is that rainbow paint splatter. Then you need to click the students tab. Now you may or may not see this page, but if you do, just click the purple button and scan the QR code. It should ask you if you are at Brook Park School and you would click correct. And then you'll see this. Now, sometimes when you open the app, it'll jump right to this page. Now it says, enter your first name. So this is only your first name. So I'm gonna use Brody as an example. I would type his first name in here. You can see Brody as the third grade. Your last name will not be fully written, but your first initial will, and make sure you double check that you're clicking the right grade level. Okay, all of Brody's artwork from first grade is here. He doesn't have any artwork from second grade because that was the year at home and we did not use Artzonia um, that year. Uh, but his artwork from first grade is there and any artwork that he does from this, um, from this year on will be there as well. So then he's going to click add art in the corner and you should see the project. So in the future, there'll be more projects. This is just the first one, so you're gonna click the project that you would like to upload your art to. Now you have a camera, which you are going to use to take a picture of your artwork. When you're taking a picture, you wanna make sure all four corners of your artwork are in the frame and that your picture is focused. When you have that, you are going to click the white button and you will get this screen here. From here, you're gonna have to crop your artwork. Now, I did not get all four corners of my artwork in here, so I'm gonna go back and do retake and try again. You might have to stand up to get all four corners into your picture. Okay, much better this time. Then I am going to drag the dots, the white dots to the corners of my artwork. This will crop out anything else I might've accidentally got into my picture. Okay, when my picture is all nice and cropped, then I go to next. Okay, my picture looks great. Please do not mess with the, the brightness or anything and you click submit. From here, you're gonna give your artwork a title. I am going to call mine Swirling Sky. But you can give yours, oops, I spelled swirling wrong. But you can give yours any title that you would like. Then you click Submit in the corner. So when in doubt, always go to the, to the, um, always go to the corner and that's where you'll find your next. So here you can find some prompting questions. This is your artist statement. I want you to write just a little bit about your artwork. You do not have to answer all of these, just maybe pick one or two um, to answer. So I might say this art is a parody inspired by the screen. To answer, what was the inspiration for creating your piece of artwork? Um, I could also say I used warm and cool colors. You could also write um, what your favorite part is. You could write about what you would change, anything about your artwork. And then you're gonna click submit in the corner. Remember, always check that corner if you don't know what to click. When you see this and it says submitted to teacher for review, that means you are all finished, it's been submitted to me. Now this is important. When you are all finished and you see your finished screen, I would like you to go home and log out. That way I know that you are out of your name and it'll be someone else's turn and they won't accidentally put artwork 
onto your um, account. So that's how you do it when you're finished. That's how you upload artwork. And then your artwork can go right into your portfolio.